Hello everyone, I'm Yasaman, a research specialist at Biomomentum. Today I'll walk you through the testing of gelatin samples with a 2% concentration as a soft hydrogel. Our goal is to measure their indentation modulus. I will show how to ensure the MAC1 system accurately tests low stiffness samples and share some essential tips uh, when working with a super sensitive load cell. For this stiffness test, we've got the MAC1 V500 C system equipped with a 25 gram single axis load cell and a flat 2 mm diameter indenter. Now, when it comes to a highly sensitive load cell like our 25 gram, it's vital to remember that any liquid on the sample can impact the recorded force. While we generally prefer testing samples without any liquid, there are cases where adding PBS or culture media is necessary to prevent them from drying out. Now let's assess the effects one by one. In the first scenario, a small layer of PBS covers the sample and the indentation begins above the PBS level. The moment the indenter touches the PBS surface, it senses an erroneous contact, prompting the test to stop before reaching the sample surface. In the second scenario, we add a bit too much PBS to the sample, starting the test from below the PBS level. Here, the PBS might come into contact with the upper part of the indenter and pass it, leaving a noticeable artifact on the force displacement curve. So, uh, to ensure none of these scenarios happen and to achieve a perfectly linear curve fit, it is advisable to calculate the correct amount of PBS based on the indenter size and the chamber or well dimensions before testing. This ensures the application of Hayes model of indentation, allowing for the accurate calculation of the indentation modulus which in this case of study is 0.5 kilopascal. <laughs> 